Hi guys! So this video is basically filmed like two seconds after the last video I published last week but that was only because I really wanted to make this so I knew I had it and knew I was starting to this properly. Starting to this properly? Do you know what? What is grammar? So today we are going to talk about the Caster Chronicles also called Beautiful Creatures. Uh, these are the book four and three. Uh, I don't have one and two and these books are not even mine. I borrowed them from a friend so I was like I need to make this video so I'll still have the books. So yes, let's get started on my opinions on the Caster Chronicle. So uh, I read the first book, I don't even remember, I think it was the year the movie got out and uh, I thought that was pretty entertaining, interesting, a new thing beginning. I was a bit younger of course than I am now and I'm sort of a bit tired of what can I call it, young adult fantasy, which is not actually really good. I just, I was uh, really obsessed about it just because of Twilight. So. For those who don't know and haven't seen the horrible movie, <laughs> Cast the Crown of Wolves is about Eden Waite, who has lost his mom uh, the year before. And then he meets Lena, who he finds out is a caster, and they are a family of caster. And when Lena turns 16, she has to be claimed by either darkness or light. And uh, that's scary. That's <laughs> so I'm sorry, I can't even remember, but that's the beginning of the book, that they fall in love and they are meant to be with each other and uh, then I have to fight. So the person who haven't read this book, I would actually not recommend this series because I <laughs> I honestly think it's really bad. I feel so mean. <clears throat> but to a younger, uh, most likely girl, because Ethan is written like a teenage girl, not like a boy. Uh, <laughs> Um, I will recommend them if you want to have an easy read, but if you are looking for good literature, just 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 don't touch the books. Now I'm gonna go in deeper depth of the books, uh, especially the last ones because that's those are the one I remember <laughs> because it's a while ago since I read the others. So there will be spoilers ahead. I will put up a big sign of spoiler right now because I'm gonna. Learn to separate my videos better. So like, as I said, the first book was okay. And the second book was just horrible because they just went around and the whole second book pounding about each other and Lena was just a bitch to say it out loud. It was so bad. <laughs> and then the third book came. Wait, what was that about again? Oh, the one that was too thingy. Yeah, there was the whole thing about Eaton. Uh, they were trying to find the one who was two who were gonna restore the new order because they broke it in the second book. And I was like, it's Eaton. It's Eaton! And then they used like the whole book to figure out that it was Eaton and then he died. <laughs> and in the next book, he uses the whole book to come back to life again. And then the thing was, in the first, or was this second book for a second? Book, it, it introduces William named Abraham. And uh, as we all know, Abraham, and he was like big and scary and I was so sort of afraid of him. And then in the last book, he was killed by a couple of sisters. And I was like, if he really was that powerful and scary as they were gonna make us feel, why can't he be killed by a couple of sisters? And it was so weird. And it was like, no. And in the end, uh, Ethan just defeated this dude who was really like OP and powerful and he just killed him in like two pages or something. I don't know. It was like way too quick and they built, they're building in all the books up this, could be a good story, but the end is like too flat. It's too little, um, yeah. I don't like it when the main characters or whatever the characters in the book are like, they can live without one another. I know it's gonna supposed to be true love, but um, in real life, I know there's a lot of people feeling like they can't live without someone. And maybe I have that feeling as well, but I feel like 
people have to be strong enough. I don't know, okay? I like strong characters who are independent. And in this book, no one was independent. It's cute. I think they were gonna make it cute. But for me, it was just sort of too much. It's like, I don't know, one month ago, two months ago since I read this, these books now. So like, my memory is really bad. But I just know that I suffered through every page. I'm a really bad and critical critic. So maybe you will read the books and really enjoy them. But I don't. And the whole thing about what is it on... Uh, Link and Ridley, like what is that? I know that Link and Ridley are gonna get their own spin-off. I would probably read it because I'm like, when I started something, I can I can't leave it unfinished. Okay, spoilers are over. Uh, if you like this video and I want to talk more about books, please leave a like, a comment, tweet me, follow me on Twitter. I don't know, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.